Hello everyone from Dunrobin Ranch in Lola, Montana on what was a rainy and haily afternoon has turned into a beautiful sunny afternoon, a little respite. And here with me, I have Christopher Hall on my left and I have a Levi Kays on my right. And these two young men have recently moved into our apartments to help us with our winter chores. So uh, first thing I want to ask you is, how did you decide to do this, Chris? Um, I always kind of wanted to do some ranch work, so just saw the ad and went for it. Yeah, and you're a lo local boy, are you not? Uh, yeah, yep. Born and raised in the valley? Yep. Yeah? Give us a little thumbnail sketch of your background. I uh, grew up in Montana and Wyoming, um, skiing, whole outdoorsy thing. Right. Um, been plumbing for the last couple of years. And, plumbing? Is yep. your dad a plumber? Yeah, uncle and grandfather were, yes. Right. And so you work for them now? Uh, nope, nope. I work for a different company. but. And, and, and primarily in, uh, it's called American Leak, right? Correct. And is it new construction or lots of... of uh, Repairs or what's the main focus? Um, locating leaks underground, utility locates, um, surveys for city water systems. Yeah, great. Now, I bet you're busy these time, this uh, time. You know, I mean, a lot of construction going on in the valley and in right. Missoula. Yep, we're just rounding out our season, so we've been a little busy the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the ground is starting to freeze, so. Nope. Yeah, no more of that for a while, right? Nope, nope. Yeah. Okay. Levi, okay. Give, give me your thumbnail sketch. Where are you um, from, Levi? I'm from Missoula. Uh, I live. I've lived here the last 16 years. Been doing construction, uh, excavation, phone line, utilities, anything that I can dig up, and I play disc golf all the time and hang out with my dog is pretty much my other hobbies. But other than that, I've uh, went and played college baseball in Oregon for a year. Uh -huh. um, hurt myself and decided that wasn't my path so um haven't been around horses in the last 20 years my mom was a horse person i grew up around it so it's really fun to be back around it that's <laughs> oh, great and you you brought a companion Can oh you oh yeah buddy companion come on yeah this is mr buddy mr buddy he's a great dane and springer spaniel and huh? been my best friend for the last eight years so yeah, he's, he's delightful he's beautiful <laughs> yeah and he gets on seems to get on with my two characters yeah that's, yeah. A, that's a good thing yeah you know? so uh fall right yep disc golf yep disc that's golf yep. and i have a nephew who is uh on the pan asian fall or disc I don't know all of the, all <laughs> it's of the terminology, <laughs> but it's it's a competition. It's not quite like fluff. It's actually a, a competition using um, uh, frisbees. Yeah, it's a really big deal in Asia. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I I mean, it's it was the fastest growing sport in the world for quite a while. I don't know if it still is, but. We just got another uh, park course in Missoula, so I'm super excited about that. Where is that? It's uh, down at the fort. Yeah. Um, it's going to be up for at least six to nine months, and then they take it out. But uh -huh. it, it should be, it's just cool for, uh, a lot of people are interested in it, and it's a good family activity to it's get a, everybody out. So uh, It's great. When my nephew was here, he's, he's just terrific. I... Uh, we had a family reunion and I bought a bunch of discs uh, thinking he could lead us all and he was so sweet he was so kind to me who couldn't hit a darn thing <laughs> but we went over to the Blue Mountain mm -hmm. golf course yep it's a good course isn't it oh yeah that's fun that's where we like to go quite a bit that's where I I shovel the tee pads usually in the winter for everybody up there so Is that right <laughs> that's great yeah well let me tell you a, a story or two about that uh, there's a horse trail that goes right by one of the baskets yep yeah, and one time I was leading people there on my horse, and here comes this disc. <laughs> they overshot, went right in front of my horse. It was great. Yeah. It was very funny. I know exactly where you're talking about, too. I, that's about the only spot that I ever see horses up yeah, there. Yeah, it's kind of the last one of the, by the road there. Yep. Yeah, yep. kind of neat. So, uh, Chris, do you have any experience with horses? Uh, a little bit, um, just helping out with friends. I had quite a few buddies that rodeoed in high school and that sort of thing. So, so you've ridden before? Yes, yeah. Okay. And have you ever ridden a Tennessee Walker? 
I can't say I have. Yeah. Well, that. How about you? Have you ever ridden a Tennessee Walker, Levi? Boy, I don't know. I'd have to ask my mom. <laughs> she. <laughs> I don't know all the names of the horses that I've ridden, but uh, or the uh, the, the types, breeds. the yeah. breeds. But yeah. uh, I did have my own Palomino. Oh, really? When I was a kid, and his name was Candy. But other than that. I've been on a lot of different horses. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll have to get you to. Are you willing to try a walker this spring when things, when we bring them all back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll know yep. them by then, won't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, Kelly trained these two young guys up to um, do our feeding. And uh, t uh, tell me how it's going. What do you think about all that? Uh, so far, so good. It's pretty fun. Far yeah. from the worst work I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're a little pushy over there, aren't they, on the on the winter field? Yep, yep. You got to keep them kind of distracted. Right. And get and going. Which one's yeah. the most pushy? Uh, probably, probably Augie. <laughs> probably Augie. Augie or Monty. Augie or he, Monty. Yeah. yeah, either one of them. They kind of both. Monty kind of pushes Augie off. I noticed lately when we were coming by for the pellets, but yeah. Well, uh, both of them will put their noses right in the tra in the truck, won't they? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then either that or clean the windshield off, or. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 harder than it thinks. You have to kind of be careful not to hit one of them because, oh, yeah. yeah, they run right along with you, don't they? Oh yeah, you kind of got to watch. I mean, if you're kind of, I was watching him in the mirror the other night, and I almost ran into one of the horses that decides to just right. stop, and they want you to stop. I think that it's like a decoy yeah they set you up so the rest of them can come in and right yeah. <laughs> eat yeah. out of the back of the truck yeah <laughs> you really do have to be careful and it's going to get worse in the winter because you're going through the snow and then the ruts can pull the truck around a little bit yeah. you know and and they they don't pay any attention to that the horses just come you know running when when you come so uh first of all you you stacked all of our hay this year didn't you did you not both of you Oh, uh, we helped tarp it, helped yes. Tarp it, yeah. yeah. A lot of hay over there. Yeah. 28 tons, in fact. Yeah. yeah. We, we we actually happened to both be working that day. Oh, okay. When, or the day or two that it took to stack it. But, right. yeah, all we did was tarp it. And then, then the tarp blew off the first night after that we put it up. And so we were <laughs> out there the next day re-tarping it and making yeah. sure it was strapped down. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, what, uh, other duties as assigned. What have you been up to? Uh, just kind of some basic repairs, cleaning up leaves this weekend, uh -huh. um, making sure everybody gets fed, yeah. Yeah. So how do you like your apartments? Uh, great, great little spot, yeah. 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 It's quiet out here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, very. Yeah. And how about you, Levi? I love it. I, I come out and take pictures every night of Lolo Peak, and the sunsets out here are amazing, and... It's a lot different than actually just living right over the hill in Missoula. Yeah. It's a different view out here and yeah. awesome yeah. pictures. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. what I've been noticing. Yeah. So. yeah. And he's We're on the fun. east side here, so you get the, the sunset. You really yeah. get them, don't you? It's awesome. I, yeah. like, I love it. Even right now, it's kind of yeah. it's really pretty. cool seeing this. So. Yeah. yeah. And he's Good. been liking it out here, um, especially the manure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, other than that... Um, yeah, he's been having fun running around and getting used to the horses, so. Yeah. And he, he hasn't gone nose to nose with the donkey yet, has he? It's getting close. They had a stare off the other day, and then he barked and grabbed back, but most of the time he's just kind of more scared of them yeah. <laughs> than yeah. anything. So. Yeah, well, they can be extremely pushy. It, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what do you think of all this nonsense with the web cameras, huh? <laughs> um... <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. No kind of strange, huh? A little different, but yeah, it's all yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Levi? It's inter interesting. I just got to make sure I don't cuss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm used and to in the, the construction world and <laughs> every other words, whatever, and right. I gotta watch what I'm saying. That's oh, one yeah. of my main things that yeah. I really gotta work on out here and around the 
especially around the microphone areas and yeah. not breaking the bird feeder yeah and uh stuff yeah, if like you pinch that your finger you, you gotta watch your language <laughs> yeah shoot darn it you know <laughs> stuff like that that's what i'm working on so <laughs> that's true and i also tell the summer help that you know you can't pee in the fields yep no <laughs> we we, are, we already were told guys just yeah. you know, wherever they are <laughs> it's fine but here you gotta at least go into one of the stalls oh yeah yeah oh, yeah yeah we okay. Were, we were already told that, but plus I kind of, yeah, knew there was cameras everywhere, so. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> If funny. I got to run back all of a sudden to the apartment, that's what I'm doing is taking a pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. So uh, one of the things that one of the other uh, duties as a scientist is saying goodnight to everybody or goodbye to everybody. So let's go over to the spot and... Um, the idea is that at, when you're finished with the barnyard crew, yeah, well, this is typical. This is just typical of a broadcast where the dogs all erupt. That's my son over there, and I'll introduce you in a bit. But let me take you over to the spot where you're, you're supposed to look at the camera and wave goodnight, okay? But this is, uh, come on with me. Come on. Let's go. Go say hi. Yeah. Say hi. That's my son. And oh, Jake, come on over. It's been a long time since people have seen you. Oh, nope. He's not available. That's fine. <laughs> no, I met him the other day. Did you? Um, yeah. I, he was just leaving or something, and so he got to meet Buddy and me. So. Oh, good. Um, yeah. So Kelly is the one that started this uh, salute good night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She And she really upped the ante. So if you want to do anything crazy, that's fine. We're all for it. <laughs> one time in the, in the heat of the summer, she and a couple of the other gals that were working here got a, a big uh, pail of water and, and basically had a swim contest out here with... <laughs> got in the water and yeah. you know sent a wave goodbye to everybody huh. but yeah so when you're feeding yeah. these guys a little uh buddy quit yeah you could you can get kicked there kiddo be yeah, careful yeah. there okay so this is the spot all right and the idea is to look at the camera up there uh -huh. and you give yourself a little salute and you say that's letting people know that you know that okay. that they are there. Okay. Come on, Chris, you got to get into the program here. <laughs> Just a little salute, and and with that, uh, we will say goodbye. Thank you both mm -hmm. for being here for the winter mm -hmm. and for being so congenial about being in front of the cameras. I know this is a really different thing, but uh, it's a lot of fun out here. You just have to kind of go with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm enjoying it. It's okay. been fun and. Like I said, it's uh, interesting for my dog too. So yeah. it's it's good co good yeah, it's for a him. Good thing for him to learn about yeah. Yeah, about hey, animals. Quit. Yeah, that's all right. They'll learn. Okay. Good night, Chris. Good night. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good night, and with everyone. That, <laughs> yep. And with Bye, that, we'll here. sign off. See Thank you, you for joining us. Bye.